Like my dad does everything by the book. Like okay, okay. Yeah. What's what's going on, everybody? This is the <laughs> conversation with Moxie Rhea. Yeah, said it right. You did. Ooh, you I did. cheated. I actually had to make sure though. Yeah. <laughs> um, from New York City. Mm -hmm. uh, what got you into music? Mm. I I don't have a waking memory of wanting to do anything else. Like my mm. mom said, like my first sentence was, "This is what I'm gonna do," and it was just from there. My parents love music. My both my mom and my dad, um, like my mom would play Whitney and Mariah on the way to school, like every day. Like oh, she just would feel music so hard. And then my dad is just complete music buff, lover, connoisseur, Motown mostly, Temptations, Al Green, Marvin Gaye, Stevie Wonder. So wait, really? For real, Dang. like for real, for real. Like that's all, we played music in the house 24 seven. When my dad leaves the house, he leaves music on so that when he comes home, music is playing. He can't be in the house without it playing. Like it's 24 seven. It's twenty four seven. I'm just saying, I'm just intrigued on the music choice. I think oh, it's yeah. really cool. Like. Yeah. So he he spent a lot of his childhood in Camden, New Jersey. Okay. And there was like a big music scene there in Philly and in, right in there in New Jersey where he, he grew up. And so that's how he really got into music. But he's like, it's like in his spirit, like like he's obsessed. Dang. So you you you've been doing music as long as you can remember. Yeah. So like, I guess what? Let's talk about your name, right? Because mm -hmm. I feel like. I don't know if you can relate, but hopefully, right? Yeah. So I guess when, when we were kids, I know it was always that one thing that people made fun of us about. And then, like, as we grew up and became adults, it was like that that was the one thing that we nourished and cherished. And it was like it's that cooler. became who it was, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think, is Moxie your first name? No, so Moxie isn't. Okay, see, I'm thinking. R Raya. Oh, Raya geez. is. Uh, yeah. Where did you get Moxie from? Moxie was a nickname um, from, I was in this, like, collective in high school. And one of the guys, we were, like, trying to think of what my stage name should be. And he... He always he has this like big vocabulary. He's always using these like strange words, and I, he said Moxie, and I was like, "That's cute." And then they just started calling me Moxie, like all the really all the dudes, yeah. So then I was just kind of caught onto it, and then it just stuck. Yo, that's crazy, cause like usually like when you're trying to create a name, it'd be so hard. Yeah, and then I, it was like I I took a minute, but then he just said it, and then they were all like, "Yeah, that's it." And then they just started calling me like Mama Mox, actually, cause I was just like I'm Italian, so I'm always like nurturing cooking for people and this and that so they would call me mama mox okay <laughs> talk to me i think i met one um italian girl in in college i, uh, I went to like three different colleges right mm -hmm. so like one, the one the first one was a pwi predominantly white institution okay and i didn't i didn't know because yeah. i don't know a lot of things sometimes so i gotta tell yeah. you so I, know, actually, I, I didn't know what that means okay so, all right yeah, see, no. see. <laughs> so it was actually one of my um my teammates i said a girl it was one of my teammates his parents was italian okay and i asked you a question yeah. Before I tell you the story, mm -hmm. do you put sugar in your spaghetti? No, if but they do. They do. People do. Okay, but do you do your parents? No. Right. You cook it for eight hours so it gets sweet. <laughs> right. <Yeah>. So <laughs> I gave um, my teammate, my old, uh, my former football player, fo football teammate, some spaghetti, and I put uh, sugar in it. And he was like, man, this is good as hell. But he was telling me, he was like, man, if my parents ever Cheated. found out, yeah. I put sugar in my spaghetti, they would kill me. Yeah. And I was wondering, like, is that a real thing? Oh, yeah, it's a thing. Because I, when you cook, like, my dad would start cooking sauce at, like, 5 a.m., 4.30 a.m. on Sundays. Where? Like, in a crock pot? <laughs> no, like, uh, in a huge pot on okay. the stove, like, and then we have dinner at 3. So it cooks from, like, 5 to 3 and that, that when it sits there, like super, super low heat, slow, it gets really sweet. And that's the trick. Jeez, that's dope. I think, because I, I don't know, I, I've been to Italian restaurants and like, I just feel like that that's spaghetti, the pasta, it'd be too rich for me, if that makes sense. It's, it's like, different because they have to put so much like butter and stuff in it to make it taste good quick like that because they're not cooking it for eight hours. You know okay, what I mean? Okay. So that's why you got to get the home I gotta cooked. Get Mama Moxie, I got to yeah. get, I gotta, <laughs> you got to bring me a plate one day. Everyone like, knows like all my music engineers and, you know, people that work around me, like when they're at my house, can you make pasta? Okay, fine. <laughs> speaking of that, um, you, uh, you record at your home. Still? Yes. Yeah. So you have like yeah. your, one of your best friends is the engineer and things yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How is that when it's making when we're kind of making music, right? Because I feel like 
I was telling my friend he does the same thing. And I'm like, bro, you got to get in the studio. Like, you got to get around some creative people. It helps to help the music yeah. flow and things like that. How How is that for you? I love that, too. Like, I love both. Um, I feel like I like to fine tune at my house. Mm. So I like to go to the studio, get the inspiration, level up, be around people that inspire okay. me and push me and get it. And then it's like, OK, now I know I want to take this home and I want to, like, make these little changes and really sit with myself and be in my zone and, like, fine tune it. Mm. And then bring it back to the studio and see and then get people's perspective and stuff. That's, I never heard it like that because usually mm-hmm. people, they get they seclude themselves in their little bubble mm-hmm. and make the music in. They drop in and it's like, OK, we got some J. Coles in the world, but... Everybody not J. Cole. And what I mean by that is like everybody can't just do their own thing and everybody love it. Yeah. Like it's people true. Just, like you, you gotta, gotta be around people. Yeah. Like, yeah, I made this whole project around people. The yeah. new project. Yeah, the new project. The name of it is twenty nine twenty nine eighty nine. Twenty nine eighty nine. I nobody told me none of this. I'm just saying like uh <laughs> 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 you're joking. doing pretty well I'm joking. hey you're here to to ask me so right so 2989 it's natural mm-hmm. um it's about a uh, girl in the future yes okay. first thing i thought about do you like nfts like are you into that yes i'm releasing i i've released some and i'm releasing more and i've like funded a lot of my stuff through flipping nfts for it's, we're, we're not about to just skip past that. Hold up. Yeah. I funded some of my stuff through NFT. How, yeah. how did this even come about? Because I think of NFT. Who just said something about NFT? It was like, it was something. Probably ignorant to you because you made a lot of money. But somebody said it. I'm like, I feel the same way. Like, NFT is just a picture. <laughs> like, yeah. it's just a picture. Like, but you clearly make money of it. How did it, How did that start? Well, so I, um, my whole project is based around this superhero girl, Carbon. Mm-hmm. She's from the future. And I've been developing this world for like two years. Um, So a lot of it lives, you know, online and I'm really into this metaverse stuff. So when NFT started, I was just into it because I'm just into things that are new and different because I feel like they always take off and then it's better to get in early, you know. That's fact. So I was just curious about it, asking friends and learning and um I, I honestly just like talked to everyone I knew about it to learn it. And then, um, yeah, so I mean, it's not just a picture. Basically, um, I just actually did like a six part tutorial on my TikTok, how to like get started in NFTs and what it is to, there, to help yeah. people <laughs> learn and to help like girls get into the get into it, too. And like um, but basically it's all about the blockchain. I don't know if you know what the blockchain is. Basically, the blockchain is this database that lives online, it's super like secure, unbreakable, and it's public. So instead of like big companies having records that are like in a book with a pencil where everyone can smudge numbers and it's like, what were your earnings this year? Oh, who, how did you pay this person? Mm," And it's all like privately run and like who knows what they're really making. Mm -hmm. Everything's gonna be moved to the blockchain and it's completely public knowledge. So it's like, I wanna see what Apple is up to go and you can see every transaction and you can see everything and it will become public knowledge that's like the point of the blockchain that's first of all before we even go further into the nft i feel like dang well the blockchain should have been around because it could have saved so many careers if you think about joe button roy and all they yeah. like where's the paperwork and they never right. could get the paperwork right. if they had the blockchain everything the numbers will be there everything being <laughs> on the blockchain is gonna like make the world the most more orderly place it's gonna make things so much better and so like like that's why everything's being encouraged to move to the blockchain. So basically an NFT is like like one piece of information would be like, I bought this NFT. Everyone will be able to see Moxie Ray, I bought this NFT. If I sold it, sell it to anyone, that's a second block on the chain. I sold it to you. Third block would be you sold it to Julian. And all that information lives on a public secure database. Kinda like a Carfax. Yeah. Kinda, I guess. Yeah, it's it's just all public and secure and unlike breakable. But why am I, how much did you sell your first uh, NFT for? So the most I've sold one for is three ETH. So that's <laughs> so on, you knew I wasn't going to know what the hell. I so meant. Ethereum is a form of crypto, and Ethereum, at its peak when I was doing it, was worth forty five hundred. Kind of like Bitcoin, maybe. Yeah. So Bitcoin's worth was worth like fifty seven thousand when I was like in this, but uh, Ethereum was worth like 45, 47, mm-hmm. now it's down to 26. So I'm not taking my money out because it's at, you know, it's like really low right now. I would be losing money. So three ETH. Mm-hmm. How much? Uh, right today, yeah. three ETH is like 8,000. All right, back then, what, what was it? 
14,000. 14,000. Yeah. All right, why would I buy my NFT for eight thousand dollars. Um, because you could sell it for sixteen in a few weeks. But why? I, like, I'm, I don't. I'm trying to understand. Like, okay, so or it's just a group of people that like that. So, stuff. why do people buy art? Okay, so I think there's there's three major reasons which my friend Gino taught me. Okay, one is they like the art potentially. Mm-hmm. Two is it holds value. It does. Three is they show it off to their dinner guests when people come to their house. Like, this is my Picasso. Right. And then they're suddenly this person. Oh, they have a Picasso. It's whatever, you know? Okay. So what's more most important now, meeting someone in person or looking at their Instagram? Now, Instagram. If you meet someone, oh, let me see their Instagram. Yeah, Do I now, like them? Uh, I'm going to uh, judge it. For sure. Okay, so what's the same thing as putting a piece of art on your dinner table while no one's coming to your house? You're going to put it on your wall and your Instagram or in your profile picture, and people are going to be like, oh, wow, he owns a $57,000 board ape or this one or this one. You know what I mean? And so it just becomes a way to, like, flex in the metaverse. And then at the same time, some people like it for that, and then some people are just like, oh, it's just in a year. It's I bought it for 2000 in a year. It's going to be 50000 yeah. you know? That's dope. That's, mm-hmm. I, I, also, the communities are cool. Like, um, I, like bought a, I, I bought, like, a sappy seal. <laughs> so you become a part of this discord and then you get to talk to all these people and okay. everyone shares information that everyone owns one and it becomes this like family and then it's like oh what are you buying what are you doing how is everyone's day da, 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 da. and you just start to learn things and become a part of the community and then that's fine they say your network is like your network yes eventually right? exactly so exactly. i think it's dope nah so, i think you do a great job in explaining it i people always tell me that my manager is always like you have to do these tutorials because no one explains it as nobody easy. Has <laughs> ever explained like you just it was effortless it was just like flawless like <laughs> like that I'm was dope. so happy yeah like so okay i might have mm-hmm. to check the nft um, out yeah <laughs> I might have to check it out um so mm-hmm. question mm-hmm. you can do what before we even go off, I was about to go off, but mm-hmm. you can do houses of her like in communities in in the NFT world, right? Yeah. Like like a yeah. Sims is cr- it's crazy that yeah. they made Sims so so long ago. And I now know, yeah. Is, is that scary though? It's it's definitely like uncharted territory. I don't I haven't like bought any land real estate just because I put my money into like my real life. But right not now even the real estate, it, right? but not even not not the casual, not the real mm-hmm. estate. When I say scary. Cause I think about okay, they created Sims. How long ago was Sims? Anybody know? Fifteen years. Like. Fifteen years ago. Let me paint a picture. Fifteen years ago, they created Sims. Uh-huh. Now we have NFTs, mm-hmm. which is like Sims, mm-hmm. correct? Think about these movies that they created, like Saw, like uh, I don't know the shit with the mass people running, running the Purge. Think about it, right? They made yeah. these movies, and we seeing the Sims come to life. Who, who knows what's next coming oh. to life? I robot like. I feel like all of these movies. Are like I always wonder like who writes these movies because I feel like they're all like premonitions. You gotta be sick. They are though, yeah. don't you think? What about the one that was like the epidemic, the one that was called epidemic like yeah. five years ago? Yeah, and then we're living it. I like I coronavirus. St- I still like, <laughs> like get shocked when I walk on a plane and you just see masks. It's like wait, what? It's crazy. Like Yo, the the thought of that two years ago would have been like insane. I remember one time I wore a mask on a plane because my mentor put all this like cinnamon oil and stuff in it for me to breathe well when I had to sing and I felt it was so dope but I felt embarrassed to like wear the mask through the airport because I'm like people are gonna think I'm crazy right and now it's just like that's dope <laughs> everyone but, in a mask yo it's crazy you, you should have yeah. took a picture and it made it in a foot if you would have knew better right, right? if I would have known better <laughs> this is back in 2015 with a mask with a millions. <laughs> yo so um when you was talking about your um your father and your mom's being so big into music mm-hmm. I think you um one of the names was Mariah Carey. Mm-hmm. Uh, is that somebody that's, that inspires you or you look at the? Yeah, my mom's like two biggest people were Mariah and Whitney. Sheesh. And there, yeah, she would just play them like the most. So who are some of your favorite artists? So growing up, it was like, obviously I loved pop music and I was like, you know, into Beyonce and Rihanna. and But it was like Stevie Wonder was my favorite 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 for like my 13th birthday my big brother he he was like into tech and stuff so he knew how to like burn cds and like do all this stuff yeah, so he we, like yeah. he got every single cd wonder song ever recorded on like seven or eight discs or even more maybe and made me this whole f- book of, of discs of everything stevie ever recorded and he gave it to me for my birthday wow what's your favorite stevie wonder song um another star maybe 
you making me look bad. Sing it. For you, there might be another star. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> I'm so full of shit. I don't know. That's crazy. It's crazy because, like, I would think... Oh. I'm so like, uh, what's the word? <laughs> I don't want to say like racist, but like, she's gay. <laughs> like I'm thinking like, okay, she, I know she like pop. I'm thinking like, I don't know, Katy Perry, come here, uh, um, Stevie Wonder, and I'm like, damn, bro, like she's no more shit than you do. Like, <laughs> you might have to go back to the draw for it. That's dope. So, it's question. from my dad and from my upbringing, like. But all, it, so again. I like to learn. I'm not yeah. scared. Like a lot of people are scared because the social I'm media is crazy. Let's go. So I'm gonna ask this. What? Go ahead. This is gonna be. It might be bad. Yeah, but that's I don't fine. Know. Mm-hmm. So I know, like, America. Mm-hmm. You can be any type of color. You can be whatever, right? Mm-hmm. Like just like Jamaicans. You got white Jamaicans, black Jamaicans. Right, right, right. When it comes to Italians, is the yeah. is it the same, or um, is that a race? How do I? Am I asking the right question? <laughs> no, <laughs> like, no. I mean, that, I mean, there there are like black people in Italy, um, right? But no, I know what you mean. Like, so, so it's Sicily, Italian, like African Sicily, American, I guess. No, si- no. Okay. Mm-mm. Sicily is part of Italy, but it's really close to Africa. So really close to Tunisia. Okay. And Liberia, and so the Makes Moors, sense. the Moors used to occupy Sicily, and then the Greeks occupied Sicily, and then it went back and forth for like a hundred years, like that. So it was it was Africa, and then it was Greece, and it was Africa, and then it was Greece, and that's what Sicily is, and so now it's Italy. And so we're Italian, like you know, but it, there's it like there's roots in like a lot of different places. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, to answer the question, it can't be black Italians. I'm sure there are. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Absolutely. Okay. I'm, yeah. I, I really, it's crazy. And how you broke it down? I'm like, you learned that at school? Um, I learned that on Wikipedia. I wanted to know my roots. Okay, I'm about to say. So you just sat down one day and like, okay, I just want to know. I actually, I learned it on the internet, like, cause I would always hear about the Moors and people, and people would tell me like, you got soul, and I'm like, well, why? Like, what is it? And I wanted to learn, and so then I just did all the like the Moors. You got to do the research, and so like I just did years ago, and I was just like, okay, this is. This Yo, you a dope ass Italian. <laughs> like, that's dope as shit. Like, I'm just listening. And then like, I did my blood, damn. and it was like, I had a lot of different things in it. So. What What, what was like the most surprising? Tunisia and Liberia, and then like Greek and and um, yeah, like Middle Eastern, and then Spanish, and then there were like five other things. <laughs> I can't see that man. Like you got what, what did it say? Just, just say it. Just say it at this point. Oh, oh. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> see, just, not saying no. <laughs> it's okay. Anyway, yeah, we're um, because uh-huh. we're gonna enjoy this. I'm, I'm sorry. I apologize. Yeah. Hey, I'm sorry. I can't yeah, cut yeah, this. Yeah. Question. Mm-hmm. If you had to choose, mm-hmm. here we go. Let's go. <laughs> Would it be, what's her name again? I'm sorry. I just said her name. Her, her name? Mariah Carey. Yeah. Would it be Mariah Carey mm-hmm. or Beyonce? If we had to do a 20 song versus Mariah Carey or Beyonce? Don't ask me that. I don't know. They're so different though. Nah, you ain't getting off that easy. Nah, if you, if you had to choose Mariah Carey or Beyonce. See, there are songs that Mariah has that can't be touched for me. Like Vision of Love and the song from the Prince of Egypt. Don't talk to me about that song. I can't. The one with the one with Whitney, uh-huh. When You Believe. I can't. That song, it can't be touched. So you gotta choose. If you were stuck on the island, no, 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 no. You're not getting off that easy. I hear you, but you're not. That you're song, trying. like that song, can't be competed with. Like that's my top five so song ever. So you stuck on an island right now. You mm-hmm. can only take one of them with you to the grave. Beyonce or Mariah Carey. It would be Mariah. Okay. Because I have to take those songs with me. Okay. But Beyonce has like 500 songs. Mariah has like. A group of songs that, that is I, just untouchable. Untouchable. I can't. I can't live without them. But Beyonce has like a million songs that I'm obsessed with. It's crazy that because I um I feel like people say that when it was like Usher or Chris Brown, and I feel like the same. I feel like Chris Brown has millions of songs that's great. But Usher, but Usher has. got it's a tw- it's a good twenty songs that you can't touch. You can't even you don't can't. even try. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So question. Caught up. Damn. I'm like yeah. No. Nah, um. Mine is superstar. Mm. Oh mm-hmm. my god. Anyway, I'm going to ask you this. Mm -hmm. I might get you in some trouble. (laughs) Do you think that you can, we talking about Chris Brown, we talking about, you know, um, the greats. Do you think you can disassociate somebody's behavior behavior and their actions from the art? 
that they create? I'm not big into that. You're not big into what? Say it. Into disassociating them from their behavior. Really? Yeah. Wow. Because I get attached to the person. Mm. Because I feel like the art comes from within them. Okay. So that is important to me. But I can, I can, like, appreciate something. That'd be, okay. I can appreciate something, but I'm not going to listen to it, like, the same. Like, when I listen to, like, I don't want to, like, Michael Jackson, I don't know what happened. But mm-hmm. when I listen to Human Nature, I feel like he, he means that. Mm. You know? Like, when that comes out, I, on, like, I feel his spirit. Like, I feel the purity in the, how he was singing it. If I go back and listen to something from, like, R. Kelly, I don't know if I could listen to Sam. It's like, you articulate really well. <laughs> like, first of all, like, first and foremost. And it's like, it, it, I hear it, and I'm like, this is a media train. <laughs> but it's like, it's so close to media train, but it's like, you can feel that it's real. Because, like, nah, I, I can't really disassociate. The, you know what I'm saying? But um, it depends. <laughs> so it's like, I'm like, damn. Like, that was real. For me, mm-hmm. I think... um. I like you said. I think you said it perfectly. Mm-hmm. I feel like I can definitely appreciate it and mm-hmm. not like the person. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I can't like I might not disassociate them, and I think that might have been an even wrong wording mm-hmm. because how you said it was perfect. I feel like I can appreciate a lot of music that R. Kelly did, but I can't. Mm-hmm. I ain't really supporting you. You know what I'm saying? Like exactly. Like I can't feel it the same. Yeah, it's like like when he's like the after party. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like I don't want to think about it anymore. Yeah, Change like, the song. <laughs> ain't nothing. Ah, yeah, no. nah, like nah, it's different. At first, when I was younger, it was like I didn't. It was blessed. It was yeah. nostalgic. I didn't know. Totally, I'm grown, we didn't like, know. We were also like in this cloud of like, all that disgusting. stuff was like okay. Fucking. We disgusting. were like raised to be like, all oh, that stuff stuff is like okay, and now we then we like woke up and it's like, wait, what was going on? You're like fucking disgusting. Right. I'm sorry. Exactly. Oh, nah, I like that. I yeah. Like you. I like you. <laughs> um, you you got this song. Uh, I think it might have been one of your first songs. Don't quote me because mm-hmm. I'm not. I'm not sure. Shit. What push a T? Okay, on my mind. On my mind. Was yeah. that your like first one that got really popular that blew yeah. you up? Yeah, there was this one, How to Feel, before it. But yeah, then it was like, um, that was when I was on tour opening for Post Malone and Justin Bieber. So that was a... Oh, what? what? Yeah. You, you be trying to skip this. Like, <laughs> you know, like, I was on tour. <laughs> like, so Justin and I had the same manager for a while. And um, like five days before his tour started, they called me and they were like, do you want to open for a few shows? And I was like, sure. And then they call back like an hour later, like, do you want to open the whole tour, like seven months, like leave in a few days and then just be on the road is for that the next even a year? Question? Yeah. All right, what type of question is that? So I was that? like, let me put this show together. Let's go. Mm-hmm. So I was about to go somewhere with the on my mind, but I'm, mm-hmm. I'm going to pause it. Yeah. So wait, I heard like, um, I was talking to somebody and they went on tour with uh, Moneybag Yo. Mm-hmm. That's a total different artist. We told mm-hmm. Justin Bieber, Moneybag Yo, whatever. Did you have to pay your own way for that tour? Yeah. Um, however, they were really, really fair with how they paid me. They they paid me every night, and they also like didn't even take a percentage of my cut. Like, Damn. shout out to Scooter Braun because they just were like, "You're still growing. We're not going to take anything." So is that because like from my understanding, I'm thinking like, and well, I did 74 shows. That's so. crazy. Mm-hmm. How how was you able to even get that money together? They gave it to me. They they paid me every night, so they okay, fronted they yeah. fronted some stuff in the beginning for me to like get my bus and get like some things like together, and then yeah. So they made it they made it like really doable. You're making it so easy for me. I'm not even <laughs> gonna lie, like thank you. because I'm just thinking I'm going off topic, but mm-hmm. we see um I don't know how familiar you are with this uh this Megan Thee Stallion and uh her old her label, old label yeah right. And you see smaller labels, they, they, they front people a lot of money. Mm-hmm. And when it comes time to, for them to recuperate their money, it's like hard because the, the artists get bigger, they get better lawyers, and they understand that the deal probably wasn't, wasn't the good. best. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But from the label, it's, shit, it's not fair because like I gave you all this money. Right. Yeah. How do you look at it? Because you kind of was in a similar situation, but yeah. you was fortunate yeah. not to have to go through those things. Like, How do you look yeah. at something like that? Um. Yeah, I've, I've, like, I've been like protected in this industry a lot like by god by the people around me like i've always just been able to have like honest conversations and Mm. be like hey i'm not happy here and then be like hey yeah i know what let's talk this out and then like kind of be fair so i've had like really good luck but is that the artist fault or the old smaller labels i guess um i don't know like i 
I don't know like the whole situation, but I think like a lot of the time, like maybe some things are not set up front and then when the artist blows up, they're like wanting more. I don't know okay. the whole situation. We can scratch that out. Yeah. Forget that. Um, yeah. Back to On My Mind, right? Yeah. You had, uh, go ahead. Yeah. You gotta go. Are you out? You gotta go to the airport. All right, man. I appreciate you. Yeah. Thanks, brother. Thank, Thank you so much. No problem. Mm-hmm. Well, We're gonna keep all this in the shot, too. Just okay, let me cool. know. <laughs> this is so good. I wanna watch the whole thing. Um, <laughs> but I gotta see it ASAP. Thank yeah, you, brother. Go ahead, go. Appreciate I'm that. I'm being nice. Oh, man. Sorry. Tell her. I'm, uh, I, I, I told her that we was running late. She has to go to the studio. First, she got to make it to the time Okay. I'm sorry. I apologize. We'll reschedule it. Um. So, on my mind, you got uh, Push It T on there. Mm-hmm. Um. What made you well? Yeah, like what? what why Pusha T? Was that somebody he was a big fan already, or? Yeah, I mean, I was like a Kanye stan growing up. Like, Me too. Kanye stan, like What's your son? yelling at my family, like you don't understand. He went to art school, like he's so brilliant. What's like, your son? Taurus. I'm a Gemini, so okay. you know I understand. Yeah, <laughs> from a different level. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yes, so. Yeah. So, and I, my dad is a Gemini. And so I always find myself like mm. being close to Gemini men. So, um, but yeah, I was just you know, and Pusha I knew through Kanye. So was always like, wait, 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 wait. You knew him. Through, no, so you knew Kanye. No, no, no. I okay. knew of him. Okay, all right, growing all right, up, all right. like Pusha okay. T. You, you know, go. and and honestly, like just the style of the song. And then I was I was signed to Def Jam, and I was talking to them, and they're like, we want to feature on this. And I knew Pusha was on Def Jam, and so I was like, what about Pusha T? You think we could do it? We sent him the song, and he really liked it. So, so when I heard you explaining it, right? Yeah. Before I listened to it, I heard you explaining before I listened to it. Yeah. And I'm like, this giving me Kanye West, and I don't even think you <laughs> mentioned Kanye West when you was explaining it at the mm-hmm. point at the time. I'm like, this reminds me of Kanye West's new project. Now he has a song about um Virgil he don't wear um Louis Vuitton since Virgil died or something but mm-hmm. it, it, like the chorus is just the song is just him saying the same thing down to two or down to two okay mm-hmm. uh, I don't have the stem player so can you um pass me play my phone it. really quick yeah so it's a song I'm, I'm gonna see if I can play it I wish I could have plugged it up for uh I really want to hear it yeah so it's I personally hate it but when you explained <laughs> it it made me think of it and I'm like wow she was on to something before because now when I heard it it wasn't what I thought because it sounded way better, mm-hmm. but it's a a part of the beat. Feels like that. Yeah, it just keeps saying it on my mind, on my, my mind, like, on my mind. On yeah, my mind. like yeah. so. I was like, "This is crazy." Like, yeah, that's cool. You was kind of ahead of the curve. Like, hey, what what is? I can um, only hope. <laughs> nah, yeah, it was dope. <laughs> Thanks. What what's some of your biggest takeaways from Kanye West being a big Kanye West fan? Mm. Just the way he like world builds, like he builds worlds it's like the color schemes and the fashion and the whole like world of it that's what like made me be like this you know Mm. it's like when i'm in the studio it's like we're coming up with the videos and the merch and the website and the way it's gonna look and the way it's gonna feel and like all that you know i'm looking for this song yeah i want to hear it you have the stem player nah i don't so it's actually on um SoundCloud. Oh, really? <laughs> so it's weird. I'm I didn't even to... know that. Did anybody remember the? Oh, oh man, I don't know. Um, I know it's not this. Do you like Kanye West music now? Do I like Kanye West music? I love Kanye. Right West. now, like like now, the music he's making now. I haven't heard Donda two, but I loved Donda one. Really? Yeah. I love Kanye West. You didn't love Donda? No, um, no, no. Donda was cool. That's what I mean. I, I love Kanye West, but I'm not. The mu- I'm not. I'm, I don't know what he's doing with the music. Like it's. it's I cool. love gospel music too. Okay. Okay. But like this. This. What's this? Shout out Vori. Vor- <sighs> nah, he's fire. We have the- a song together. For real? That's yo. Vori is crazy. Crazy. So his songs on this, I'm obsessed. Like. Not hard. Crazy. Vori is on. Um. Wait, is that's the song? That's Donda two. He's on. He. Oh, I didn't. I didn't hear Donda two. Yeah, Vori is on Donda two. Yeah, he is. Um, I'm. I cannot. I also song. like um this one. Mm. I like that. Mhm. Yeah. You got some Ooh. taste. I think. I think Donda. Like, I don't know. It, it, it makes me like feel things. I liked it. Uh, I gotta find out. I'm. I'm. I'm gonna ask somebody. Cause now nah, we not gonna do this. Cause the song reminds me of this song. I'm gonna ask somebody right now. Okay. Do you see? How, this is why I like this because like we could just do like they would never yeah. do this at a radio. Station. <laughs> yeah, right. Let's <laughs> call him. Yo, bro.
Yo. It's a song, the Kanye West song that he was like, he don't wear um, Louis Vuitton since uh, Virgil died. What's the name of that song? It's called what? Louis Bags. All right, bet. Thank, thank you, thank you. I'm in the middle of an interview. I'm gonna call you right back. See, we get. See, I love it here. We can just do what we want. Like, I love it. It's cool. Like, so they, they're gonna see this, right? And I'm gonna, I'm gonna post that clip. And like, like, he's so with. disrespectful. Yeah. They're like, so rude. They have no idea. No. I love the internet sometimes because like real friends know what's up. Yeah, bro. Like, bro, I could be I like, laugh. I gotta go. Bye. Yeah. But not even that. They're gonna be like, they're gonna look at me like, oh my god, he's on his phone. I'm gonna post this clip. Like, oh my god, he's on his phone in the middle of an interview. But like whole time, like. What? They don't know that that's the cool thing. They have no idea. <laughs> Louis bag. Let me find it. Um, I, I, here we go. So when you was explaining it, this is what I thought. Okay. I'm gonna play it. It's, it's the the whole song is just. I hate it. Hmm. But it's the whole, like, the whole song. Like, it's, it's like, bro. <laughs> you vibing? I stopped buying whatever. But, yeah, so you got the point. Uh -huh. But it does that, like, the that, whole song. That hypnotic. Yeah, exactly. So when yeah. you was explaining it, I'm like, damn, this gives me Kanye West. Yeah. And I was wondering, like, were you a fan of Kanye West? And then it's... Oh, so like, I, biggest. That's crazy. Biggest. He has to be, like, from childhood to now. Like, I used to say with Stevie Wonder, but I feel like he's just been the constant, like, number one favorite artist for me. Yeah, I think I love him because just this constant um, breakthrough, right? This constant people say you can't, and he's done, he's done it. I love it. it. Producer, you can't it's be a best. rapper. Rapper. Clothing line. Clothing, you can't be a clothing. Pfft, What's easy. next? <laughs> yeah. And it's like, that's. Friends with Elon Musk, this, that. You get what I'm cars. saying? Cars. And when, we, when he was talking about it at first, everybody was shunning him. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? But Always. I, I think so. So are you, would you say you're good music versus anybody? Um, I'm Kanye. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm Kanye versus. Anybody. Potentially. I don't know. Like, I go to different people for different things. But Kanye has been like the constant my whole life. And I just like feel him in my heart. I feel like no matter how powerful or big he gets, he still makes us feel like he's the underdog mm -hmm. and we all connect to that because because we want him to win because he it's like he's us i'm with you you know even with like the whole kim thing i'm like kanye, i just she broke your heart i know i know and like <laughs> I, I was heartbroken too kanye and we're gonna get through this together <laughs> i'm not gonna lie first of all you're right because heartbreaks is what top five worst pain ever it might be number two next to a two listen it like i know some navy seals that say it's worse than that bro like a it's the worst. Break, it probably is number two. Two fake. I feel like it's the, the number the one. A <laughs> toothache is the, the number one pain ever. No, I would take a toothache any day over a, a nerve and your a nerve? nerve. Oh my no! You might have not. See, yeah, you, you, I might have not. Have a yeah, because I feel like you, like you healthy. You really like you probably grew up going. No, having a nerve pain. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> number one pain number in one. the world. Yeah, no. Heartbreak comes second. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. So you think? I don't know. I can't. I'm, I'm gonna say I don't agree. You know why? Why? I love Kanye West so much, and it's like, bro, what are you doing? Like, I leave know. her alone. Like, I know. I know. Me too. Me too. No, I'm not like, yeah, Kanye, go. Okay. I'm kind of like, oh, Kanye, no. Like, I know. Like, we're going through it together, right. but stop. Stop. Yeah. You're making us look bad because yeah. I care for you. Yeah. I'm with you. All right. So what I was going to go with that is. <laughs> Right, let me ask I you still this. love it because it's expression. So ultimate like, question. This ain't my yeah. real question though. Mm -hmm. Kanye West or Drake? Kanye. Easy. All right, bet. So, how did you feel? I just had to get had to get it out of the way. Okay. How did you feel when Drake and Pusha T was doing a beef? I didn't like it. I don't know. I just. I mean, I. I guess it's like people think it's entertainment, but I don't know. I just. I'm not really into like beef, beef. like that. Okay. Yeah. I don't really like get into it. So. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I but I, I feel like both of them went too far. You think so? I was going to ask you if it was the baby thing too far. The baby thing and then like the... Wife? Yeah. yeah. And then like his producer and... Ver yeah. Yeah. Sheesh, yeah. That was bad. Yeah. So you wasn't... You're not really into the... No. Okay. Mm -mm. okay. Damn. It's so, mm -hmm. like... Yo, It's it's been a pleasure talking to you because I'm like... Listen, I listen to your, your music, right? I'm like... Who she sound like? I'm like, she sound like Katy Perry. That's what I'm saying, right? I'm like, she give me Katy Perry vibes. 
And my assistant is here like, nah, she gives me, name some of the names you were saying. I don't know like, none of these people. Like, I was like 35. Yeah. I don't know, it gives me like old school Yeah. And then you come in here and you start talking Stevie Wonder. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, wow. Like, that's so dope. You got to hear the new project, too. How can I hear I it? could play something. Go ahead. Yeah. Like, I, bro, we can do this here. Like, we got, this is fire. I, I love this. um. This is uh 2989, off of 2989. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't even have, like, some of the final versions right now oh yeah actually i do i do i do so why are you looking at it who who is somebody that who is people some people you collaborated with on there so do you know beam beam where is he from la he's from miami nah. actually beam and vory are really good friends okay nah, but I I, don't. yeah so no, i wrote is fire. so vory and i have something coming um two things maybe and then beam and i beam and a bunch of people from miami we wrote this project together okay. and um, I have a song with him on here. So that's um. Let me hear. Let me hear. Have you? I don't know what kind of vibe are you in. I ha I have like not like up your tempos. music. Not like your music. No, I have like up tempos and I have like more slow. Well, I think the ones I was listening to was kind of up up tempo, up. but I don't care. I like music, so. Okay. Um. Give me a vibe. Learn okay, I'll give you the thing. song with Beam. Should have plugged it in. It's called Yin Yang. It's like Gemini stuff. Yeah. <laughs> All right, stop it. You can stop it. You can stop it. You won't get this taken down, man. That was good. <laughs> Thank you. That was you. really good. Hey. Thank you. Yeah, how do you feel? I, so I look at your Instagram, and I do research, and I talk to you, and you don't give me Moxie Rhea that we see on the gram. Like really? Like I I say that when I mean, let me let me let me see, fix this. Uh huh. So I see you got like what hundred fifty thousand followers, mm -hmm. right? You give me so much bigger. Like you give mm -hmm. me like this big star. That's yeah. how I feel. That's how yeah. the energy feels. Yeah, it will and be. Right, and I was wondering, like, how do you feel? Like, do you feel like you getting your flowers and your roses, and people they know who you are? Or like, not yet. Not yet. I like, like, I was still really excited when I got to the hotel, and the guy was like, "Are you Moxie?" And I was like, <gasps> "Take a picture." I like, <laughs> yes, I was like, "But don't look at me right now. Like, I look crazy. Like, I was in like this like big hoodie with like ears on it." <laughs> I was like, that's fire. Yo, that's fire. That's I still get excited. Like, Let's talk about your style real quick. Mm -hmm. I see the dark pictures. Yeah, dark I just. Dark clothes. Is it? It's, it's, that's just how I always love to dress. Is it goth just, or no? Mm, no, I no? never like was like into goth. I mean, I, obviously I'm inspired by it, but I think it's just like growing up in New York, like always liking the color like black. And, okay. Um, I just, I don't know. I think carbon has like. Carbon's colors are like purple, black, blue. I don't know why I always gravitated towards that I was stuff. just curious. I don't know. Whatever. I just always gravitated towards <laughs> those colors. I'm not like a pink girl. Okay. And, um, yeah. My blonde hair is bright enough. I mean, my hair is really brown, but I bleach it. Hey, it looked good to me. So, yeah, whatever. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> question. Mm -hmm. Last question. I was curious. Um, Speaking of on my mind, right? Mm -hmm. You said something that was very intriguing to me. It was like, you don't like to keep your thoughts. Like, a lot of people like to escape their thoughts. You like to keep them to you mm -hmm. on your mind, right? Mm -hmm. And I was curious, like, that not sound like so many of us, right? Forget mm -hmm. the colors, forget the net, forget all of that. Like, it sounds like so many of us as humans. And I was wondering, like, how do you deal with stress if you like to keep all your thoughts to yourself? It got to be hard sometimes. Um. I I used to not do as good of a job as I do now, and I feel like now it's like through prayer. Mm. I like got like a really deepened like connection with God after my last. Well, I'm not even gonna give it to that. This past year. What you was about to say? <laughs> my last relationship. No. What you was about to say? No. <laughs> You're not gonna tell me. No, you gotta give it to me now. I was gonna say relationship. 
Yeah. It happens though. Mm-hmm. But but yeah, it, I couldn't like escape my thoughts and mm. I had to like pray to get them out. How did how how were you able to know that it was the prayer? And how was it, how was you I able have a to really find good your, mentor. your right prayer? Mm. And he was, and I was just crying. He was just like, you have to pray on it. You have to pray on it. You have to pray for God to help you let all of it go. Mm. And that's what I, that's how I pray. I'm like, I, God, I walk in your path. I please, please purify my heart of resent and anger and help me let it go. I don't want to think of this person. I want to let them go completely. Please, God. Like, mm. And that's what I pray on every day, to let go. Like, let go of the past. Let go of the past. Start new every single day. Like, clean slate. Let's float. Wow. Like, and so I just pray on that and like just say, purify my heart, purify my heart. I don't want to feel angry. I don't want to feel. <laughs> how, how, like how long were y'all together? Um, Like a year and a half, two years, yeah. And like what made it, well, I guess, what made it so hurtful, I guess? I mean, of course, it's a relationship. Mm-hmm. You grew together and things like that, but. I feel like, I, I mean, he like, I was just very attached and like set on him. Like I would have mm. been with him for the rest of my life. And so, and I don't feel like he felt the same. And then he he very easily can like move forward, like easy. And um, I yeah I I wasn't like wanting to. <laughs> I was like Kanye. <laughs> that, that makes sense. It's crazy. Like it's 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 it's, it's, it's not funny, but it's mm-hmm. funny that like it's we funny can now. talk. Yeah, we could talk now. about it. What was it? What was your biggest lesson you think from it? Um, to I feel like I gave away my power and I forgot my power so much. I put so much of my worth in like him Mm. and having him, um, which I didn't even know was happening when it was happening, but it was just like, I just like was like intertwined and like gave more than I should, than was healthy. Mm. And, um, and I think like, I think like as women, we're kind of like brought up like having a man, like, you know, when you go to home, it's like, don't you have a boyfriend? You're going to get married? And, like, I put a lot of worth in it, mm. you know, and, and I don't anymore. So I, I put think, a lot of worth in me. You know, <laughs> I, I think um, all of us sometimes, you know what I'm saying, like, especially when we want something, mm-hmm. right? I think a lot of times when we want something, we we oblivious oblivious to the things that's going on around us that we should be looking at, right? Like, we, we will easily look past the red flags mm-hmm. and the toxic tricks because mm-hmm. it's like, I'm stuck on this, mm-hmm. right? And and I wanted it to work. Mm, mm, yeah, mm. yeah. It's, it's crazy. Yeah. I'm glad mm-hmm. you got. I'm glad you been. You went through that because it made you better. Me too. That's and that's what my mentor <clears throat> told me. And he was like, "You gotta let it go because you're gonna." He's like, "You're you're cursing all your blessings that are about to come because you're gonna look back in six months and be like, oh my god, I see why that happened. Thank God that happened. Oh God, I did all that complaining when I should have just been like, thank you, right? Thank you." Thank you. What what are, what are, what are some things that you're thanking God for now? Uh, my connection, how God comes through, like it's Facts. just crazy. Can we talk? <laughs> I'm like, how is this gonna happen? Hey, can we? I know you said you stopped drinking. I said, like, can we take a shot? Yeah. For that? No, <laughs> like, no, I can't do hard alcohol. I mean, what's what you want? Um, so, um, I don't know if you're gonna like. I mean, that's. You want to try this? Yeah. This is these are usually props. Shout out to Bel Air for this. Um. Oh they, well, I don't want to open no, your we, props. We, we, okay. <laughs> Come on, man. Cause I the mm-hmm. fact that you said that, and mm-hmm. I'm a, I'm a God fearer, man. So yeah, I'm never gonna um. Yes, yeah, so we gotta celebrate. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I'm never gonna hide and, and and not speak about those things, and, yeah. and that's dope. But like some mm-hmm. things that I'm thanking God for is my willpower every day. Mm-hmm. I feel like we we forget about how, that that being a thing so easily because you know how many things we go through that we could just quit. Quit. It's like I'm, I I give up. You know what I'm saying just on keep life, going. and it's like yo willpower. People that have willpower and determination, <sighs> it's such a blessing. Let me get so blessed. Right <laughs> Come on, what is so this? blessed? Oh, where's the cups? Where is the cups? <laughs> oh, here, here. Oh, right there. Just please, yeah. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take some with you. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. yes. It's gonna be okay. Uh-huh. Oh man, <laughs> it's gonna be okay. Thanks, cause man, if we ain't talking, so stop right now. <laughs> Yeah, you can you can pour your own poison. Mm mm mm. I'm gonna wait till you finish. We gonna toast up. Take a drink to God Himself. Yeah, I was just about to say, we gonna toast to God. Of God, of <laughs> course, like of course. Mm. But now, nah, of course, man, I'm um thanking God for willpower. You know, uh, just the, I like the uh, ability 
Uh, the ability to uh to stay strong. Man, um clarity, direction, health. Health. Whew. Yeah. Come on. The reason I don't drink is because I got really sick last year. But I don't know if I'm gonna get into that. I had what? COVID really bad. I was like in and out of the hospital for three months. Wait, before we go into why wouldn't mm-hmm. you want to get into it? I haven't ever talked about it publicly. Dang. But I, you I see the energy? Like, <laughs> the energy is here. And you keep asking about the alcohol, and I'm like, that's I haven't been able to really drink anything since. That, that's why I turned down the hard alcohol. But I can like little sip, but. It's fine. So like you yeah. got COVID and. And it affected something with my lungs, and my lungs like got inflamed, and I was in and out of the hospital for three months. I had to fly home, which was really hard to be on a plane, and like laid in a bed for three months in my wow. parents' house in New Jersey. Like, unable to walk sometimes. Yo, you come in here, right? First thing you do is start singing. Yeah, thank we, God. We were talking about how you just came from a performance, right? God. This happens. Yeah, I thought I was going to die. But, so. I thought I was going to die. And, not, I, and sometimes I wanted to. That's all I was about to say. Not to take it lightly, right? I feel like our favorite thing, the thing that we're attached to the most, right? If Get you attacked. take that away from us. We, it, it hurts. So, like, I remember when I was playing football and I, and I, and I, um, I broke my knee. I, I, had, I tore my ACL, right? And I was just like, man, please just let me be able to play football. What were you thinking, like, when your throat is like? My, my, my lungs. Yeah, lungs, yeah. It's like. Yeah, I mean, I, I was thinking death. Mm. I, I literally was. I was, like, thinking death all the time, which yeah. is crazy. And I, I didn't know how to, like, pray the way I do now. I didn't know, like, I didn't know how to get out of it. I just read things and asked people and researched and talked to friends and and let and then trust the process and let my brother like sit on the bed and play me, play me guitar and like just mm. like be get close to family and heal things mm. and like just go through it. Relationship, mm-hmm. COVID mm-hmm. scare, your lungs. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And you learn to like get closer to God and pray. Like, ain't that, isn't that so amazing? It's crazy. It's dope as hell, right? Does that, does that, I think about it every day. It's like, what is making all this go right now? Mm. And I was going to ask you, does that, is this something that inspires your music? This is everything. Mm. It's like everything right now. Mm, mm, mm. Have you, have you, have you, uh, caught yourself making songs about God yet? Or (laughs) yesterday at the airport? Mm. This is the first one. For real? Yeah. And I was like singing to myself because I was just like, I was like, I have to let go of something. And I was like, let it go, let it go. You got to let it go. And I was just like, wow, I'm going to start making songs about We got a gospel that. song coming or it's on the way. <laughs> yeah, just like songs <laughs> about that. Because I like, when I, I was like, found myself singing it to myself to like, don't go there, don't go there. <laughs> don't go there for sure. Yeah. It's crazy because I, I know like churchy people hate me. Cause I talk to God like he my homie. I'm like yeah. my nigga. Like, I talk to God like, bro. I talk to God like teenage Jesus, baby bro. Jesus. <laughs> like, bro, you just look the fuck out, nigga. Like, thank you, like, bro. I know, like, churchy people hate me because, bro, I talk to God like every day. All like, day. literally, I like, man, you talk to yourself. Mm-hmm. I talk to myself with God. Oh, yeah, God. Like, all mm-hmm. the time, bro. It's crazy. Like, you would think I'm. It's been times where like things is going terrible. Like. I'm running behind. Mm-hmm. I got somebody mm-hmm. coming to interview, yeah, and I was just yeah, stopping yeah. and praying. Niggas, they yeah. be talking to me, and I, I'm just still, and I'm I'm just praying. So like, it's super dope that you went through that, and like, mm-hmm. look at you, mm-hmm. gospel songs on the way. Yeah, <laughs> on the way. Hey Next. man, it was um, I guess you could tell people how to follow you. Yeah, yeah. So everything is at Moxie Raya, um, which is M O X I E R A I A. It's a lot of vowels in there. This is a great conversation. This was so nice. This is dope. I I'm, loved it. I'm, I'm glad you came. And and east, uh, northeast vibes. Northeast vibes. You're from Baltimore. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, uh, is that northeast? No, y'all gotta stop. You're the second person that did that. Isn't it? No, northeast is DC, but it's okay. But isn't it kind of? No. Well, oh, you talking about? Oh, you. Here we go. She's she's intelligent. I'm talking <laughs> about on the map. I'm talking about on the map. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. No, no, I'm talking about, like, I'm not talking about the part of D.C. You're but. fucking just, into, I mean, people, I know as a smart person somewhere, like, everybody knew that, Jay. Like, I didn't. The fuck? No. <laughs> <laughs> so you're talking about in the world. No yeah, I'm talking about in the oh. world. And I'm talking about in America. In the country, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, we're just, you yeah, know, know, we're different up there. I feel like maybe it was a connection like that. I don't maybe, know. Maybe, I don't know. A God connection? God connection. Okay, so. Yeah, it might be. Like, but I feel like. 
it's weird because New York mm-hmm. and Baltimore mm-hmm. is like Baltimore is actually like southern, believe it or not, even though it's in the north. Mm-hmm. Like now I'm talking about the map. I'm looking yeah, like yeah, in yeah. The, <laughs> but um, that's how I can see it. Yeah. But anyway, it's weird because like we're more southern, like mm-hmm. in New York is OD North. Yeah. But it's weird because we're both in the north. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Yeah, I haven't spent a lot of time in Baltimore. You gotta go. It's, it's, it's when I say Baltimore is so special to me because it's so unique, right? Mm-hmm. It's like New York is such a melting, is a such a big melting pot. Even DC, uh, Los Angeles. You think of places like that where it had, it still has t- tradition and it still has its, its heritage and, and and history, but it's, it got overshadowed by so many people coming in, mm-hmm. right? And Baltimore hasn't been it hasn't been taken over yet mm-hmm. so you go there you still gonna hear people with the the lingo like you want to hear the embrace and somebody might say hey what up dummy and they really mean like love yeah, like, yeah, yeah, you know what yeah. i'm saying and that's what i love about it because it has like its own thing yeah still whereas though new york is probably of course it has its own thing but so many people yeah gentrification is yeah, real yeah, yeah yeah so like yeah i love yeah. baltimore yeah but, yeah Fire. i mean Hey man, like I said, I, I I love the conversation. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. I hope you go viral and blow up tomorrow. Me like, too. <laughs> yeah, I, you, you deserve too. it. Like you thank deserve you. it. Like thank for you. real, I can't me even. Too. Thank, thank you. you. How do we end? That's Let's it. Let's go. Thanks. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> Thanks, man. That was great. Yeah.